Well, hello everybody. Good evening. I hope you see me well and hear me well also. So today we are going to um, talk about the revolutionary new age second level pre-restring technology, which is called Skyway. And uh, I will share you my insights of the company, insights of the certification and demonstration which we have two, uh, one in Belarus and the other one in United Arab Emirates, and both are working. There are multiple tracks already uh, implemented or installed, uh, and the certification process both for the track structures and for the um, different models we have, both for, uh, for uh, personal people, transportation, method and, and as well as as for cargo uh, for sea containers for example and then uh, as well as different other materials and many of those technologies at first are certified in belarus where we have more than seven different track structures and seven different models uh, certified but those are under ghosts these are like posts mm -hmm. I mean, this is the Russian world, word, sorry, and uh, it's meant for the eastern part of the world, those certifications. But in United Arab Emirates, at the moment, we have in Sarja, we have this innovation center where we have the second track structure already installed. And the certification process of it just started, but I will share some information to you just in a, in a few minutes but all right my name is Michael I'm from Estonia and I've been with Skyway for more than four years now I have shared these past few years I have shared this information through the webinar system and uh, and well I'm, I just have to say that the work continuously and constantly goes on despite the corona crisis despite the um, situation we have here here well in in european border but uh, the work goes on and well in belarus certification and certi uh, center the eco Technobark is like a window to eastern countries and uh, then the United Arab Emirates is as a window to tropical climate countries because those certificates which we will or which will the company will achieve those certificates will be uh, well approved by those regions of course we need uh, one for Europe as well the process has start, uh, has been well started and has been in process for some time now but it takes time here and, and the main focus at the moment is of course in united arab emirates because there was the expo as well but this is it this is our technology the skyway technology as you can see it's like these pre-stressed strings which are in the metal thing basically and that that comes to the track structure itself so and this is one style this is like here well behind me you can see the same line this is one of my favorites as well because this is very solitary and like well it's like a string there it's impossible basically to see it from longer distances the track structure itself and the supports if it's up that high as here on this animation picture and then, uh, then if it's up as high as here, then it's possible to take these supports. Well, the distance between two, two supports should be more than two kilometers. It, well, it depends a little bit, but uh, I believe even with this one, it, it, it could be possible to be even after a few kilometers. Support. So there is a whole lot of empty space, so to say. And if you think it in different surroundings, there may be not mountains, but forests or or, or um, city areas. So basically, we do not need to um, use the space down below. And it, it can be for people to walk. 
right pie cycles or the forest or the grass to grow or the flowers or, or whatever it is so there are both this yes and that's the main thing with a second level transportation system and the other thing is the safety aspect because it, we are separated from the front where most of the traffic occurs so so from the second level we well basically we are much more secure and if, if we have this solid um, well um, understandable track or the track structures then then it's it's absolutely different world that's amazing but yes the process i, I have been well talking about this process of the track structures track structure number two and number four which are in process at the moment of, of uh, construction well one of uh, yes i will show you this in, in a second but yes about this i have been telling you so this the other one is the depot so basically there it's possible tracks should eventually well mm, be integrated so that uh, it's possible to come from the track itself from the thing either well uh, if we think about this this is going to be a container transportation system which is going to be um, certified there and tested mostly uh, on this track, uh, track structure here yes so if you like the model which is on the track structure it, it can go if, if it reaches the end it can go either to the left side or to the right side either station which um, well the team inside the building will choose from from long distance so it's it, it's all automated and so to say controlled remotely because there are no drivers in our technology well cabins there there is no seat for for driver it's only meant for taking passengers from one place to another or transportation well the goods and and other stuff yes but yeah so this is how it will look like very soon and one other thing which is well now now if you compare this track structure you see on the scene at the moment with the one which is behind me and the, which i showed you before as well there in the mountains then uh, this was much uh, well heavier. it has to hold more weight above so hence the hence the sea containers there on the track structure but another aspect is that can use both sides of the tracks so we can use either the above side or underneath so that's why it's uh, it's over multifunctional and then and, um, well, and then the double it will double the efficiency and if you compare it with the average speeds then this one here on the slide it can go up to well more than 100 kilometers Yes. Yes. So, um, and the ships, uh, tra uh, trucks, and of course the, the trains. Those go about average twenty forty uh, uh, kilometers per hour. So it's about five times the difference of speeds than unloading. Uh, talking time unloading time uh, and the boarding time of these sea containers or placement time it takes less than one minute as well so amazing facts and then uh, the track structure itself has dr anatolianiski who is the creator and brain behind all of this has said that um, yes i i my thought went what he was supposed to say about uh, ah, th that uh, it the track structure itself lasts uh, about 500 years so it's for a long time therefore it's great to be a an, an investor as well of knowledge and we have all these uh, awesome webinars that uh, that show the possibilities for potential investors or people who are interested more than just uh, looking at the picture or want to be a part of the family 
so to say, and support the technology and receive um, the shares of the mother company. So wherever in the world there will be projects built, then a certain amount of percent will come to the dividend the investors' pockets, depending on how much dividends they have. But that's absolutely another story. We are here today to focus on on the technological part. Yes, so here you can see again, yeah, the same picture. So now the the track structure number four is also in installment. So there are work we're going on, so it should be quite ready. Yes, so here you can see now the, the latest news I, just, I wanted to bring you uh, to show you is that we have completed work on the container depot. So that picture I was showing you before, but that's great news. And uh, the certification of the fourth track um, uh, starts, well, has begun. So there's also another great news. So that soon there will, there will be two more, and those both will be 2.4 long. So we have now twice or even more than twice the length that we had before because in Belarus we have about one kilometer track structure and here in such the first one which is already certified and on which tropical unicar our model is also certified and has already taken passengers on broad on the test track that's only 400 meters long so so for greater speeds we need absolutely the great distance of track structures so therefore this one uh, or these ones so all together there will be four tracks for to to start constructing but those will be awesome yes but all right now now let's see what we have here yes the pre-main part uh, so basically this um, well picture was was made about 100 years ago in uh, well and it is supposed to mean our life in 100 years so it's about nowadays and what i always well what what it reminds me if i take a look at this picture is that uh, it uh, mm, it is basically uh, showing us how many different possibilities we have here on the first level. As nowadays we do, we have all these trains, tramways, trolleybuses, taxis, electrical bikes, um, cars coming. Uh, we have even the underground transportation systems, so the subways and, and all this there. But the only thing yet we have not discovered so rapidly and so greatly is this is the second level so it ourselves our, uh, our people countries absolutely new possibility to to transport uh, people and goods even more efficiently and more safe safely so that's all basically what we need we just have to think about the right uh, track structures and about the logistics and well there are many many challenges on the, on the road but a lot of them has already been solved when making this technology and then uh, ruling that it's it's possible because guys ladies and gentlemen this this is real technology these are not just pictures but skyway is real thing it has been on many uh, many of these um, yes it's coming i will try to show you exhibitions and therefore it's 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 well absolute sorry about these delays mm. but yes it's it has been on on at many exhibitions around the world 
and uh, well as we have seen the progress of it how it started how the for in 2015 is when we first started digging ground and start started to putting this uh, this uh, supports for supports and first tracks then the first tests then certification processes and then we discovered or united arab Emir emirate uh, the sarja council uh, well they discovered us or vice versa so anyway there we landed and started absolutely new character in our uh, success story so it, it will be revolutionary absolutely and there's no doubt about that and uh, well many news and then the development it just supports what i say but here are here are some examples what the people have done so far as you can see uh, on the right side well the left side is the normal train also from 19th century and many of those around the world still use mainly fuel but there are more and more alternatives because as we know we're going toward electricity uh, quite greatly and that rapid so therefore well at least before we go back to some form of um, uh, fuel burning engines uh, will well almost uh, 100% at least in European countries will take electricity and electrical machi machines or, or, or vehicles in use. So, but monorail is one of the, um, maybe the similar one, and it's also used in many places to even today. But it's quite expensive comparing with Skyway. It's about five times more expensive. Then if you take a look at these supports, they're really massive because, uh, well, they weigh a lot. The track structure itself is enormous. So it ha these supports are, have to be in very short distances from each other and have to hold quite much. Yes, then here are some facts on the paper as well uh, about the track lengths. Many tracks are uh, well limited to some point. Well, as we know, trains trains can go also on a limited way. But um, if you compare it one to one with monorail, then yes, monorail is up to fifty kilometers. Then the maximum speed is about. 70 kilometers per hour with monorail as we know inside the city well the urban more uh, urban model we have those can go up to 150 kilometers per hour and the fast speed technology we have that one can go said by dr antonio Nuniski again but because it needs more than 20 kilometer track structure to test it well in in to test it there we need a longer track structure and that's still going to happen in the future but 500 to 600 uh, kilometers per hour shouldn't be a problem well let's see but it, it's really 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 great because so far, Dr. Antoniniski well has done, or their team has done everything uh, we people and investors have been promised, or as they have said before. Yes, but uh, let's continue with the slide. So those mentioned you in the beginning as well. The, our models are self-driving, so basically um, we do not have any driver out abroad and the, the traffic interval now here on this section the the depot uh, will will matter a lot because if we well take the normal uh, which which will basically take people from one place to another one point to another then uh well, the system also with the capacity, I'm just trying to put the many ideas here together. So um, 
uh, stay with me uh, until but uh, why is the traffic interval such in such a short time is because we mainly have to think only about how much time people need to take uh, to get on board and get off board so to go out basically from the cabins and to enter the cabins so as by the technology itself we can exit the um, station from each three seconds so after each three seconds another model will exit the station so that's how fast we can put it all working together, but we just need to need the time for people to get on board and off board. So, and if there is a lot of traffic, traffic jams, the rush hours, many people come to like in subways in Japan, they have this special people called pushers there who push last people on the on the subways. So that's crazy if I if I think about it. But they push people on the board and get paid for that. So this, that's a problem. That's a challenge. And that's only on certain times at, at the day, at almost every day, at least from Monday to Friday. And uh, to solve this problem, mm, Skyway can add many models as needed to the track structure when there are rush hours. So we can relax. And if we don't get on this one then we know that uh, in one minute the another one will be here and we will will be already uh, uh, going going from the stations to, uh, from one state to another so yes that's 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 just crazy so but that's good and therefore the traffic capacity can be much higher than even with metros or the subways One picture of the East subway. Then this one is Wuppenthal. It's possible to find it uh, in Cher Germany. Again, track structure is very heavy. It needs uh, many supports, as you can see by the riverside. And then uh, it's from from the last century as well. This is basically a tramway upside down and possible to find in China. So as you can see, there are already many examples just uh, as we know it's it's basically un undiscovered the, the, the above, level, above level if you think uh, about our cities or our environments and all these technologies that are placed today are mainly meant for touristic attractions as the cable car which is very popular and many countries want to install it over the river sides or where are well, basic sightseeing but those go up to 20 minutes per hour. And uh, and the main idea is here is that as well that the as you can see on the right side, the orange wheel or the engine, this one spins and therefore the cable itself moves. But those cars, which uh, you can see on the right side above there, inside where people are located, those cars stay at the same place all the time. So they, they're basically like sued to that cable. So therefore cable cars, the cable moves. And then that's the main uh, technological well difference differences well from from our technology as you can see here on the on the slide as well. So we have our own wheels, our own batteries. It's fully ele electrical and self driving. It's it 160 degrees cameras both outside interior those constantly screen the surroundings so if any obstacle comes in our way it it can it can react send information out what should we do it it, it is connected all the time with with um, or remotely with our control center and here you can see all the only all, also these elements in front of the nose and in the back so those there. Uh, yeah, I hope you see in the nose, basically, and in the back, there are some small sh shaped uh, elements, and those will be attached with each other if anything happens with one model, for example, battery dies or whatever reason there can be, it can be either pulled or lifted to the maintenance. Ah, and therefore, the PO is very important, the PO station, as you saw in the beginning as well, because the, the PO is meant for for 
maintenance of the models and parking there, char charging there and so on. So basically, if, if we have this There are many different models, um, well, waiting and, uh, well, if we are in Russia, many, many different models are on the track structure, driving and serving people. But if that Russia goes over to normal times, so where, where there are, or, or the other time at night, where there are very little people, then, uh, or not so many people, sorry, then, uh, then those, models which need charging or maintenance or whatever reasons they can be or just rest those can go to that typo so short three longly <laughs> welcome to the new age that's absolutely right this is 21st century technology 100 percent electrical it can have even its own solar panels wind turbines connected to the track structure and to the models which will produce energy while move, movement or from the solar in tropical climates and therefore it's basically a self well self-sustained system which only needs some uh, mechanic mechanical maintenance and and, and, and so on but yes why Skyway? There are many reasons, and I here in on at this presentation, I have uh, actually seven reasons hidden at the moment, and those will start to appear as we move forward. But I'm just going to say that today we are not going to see all seven reasons, and uh, therefore you um, come uh, to our, our next presentation as well, which is exactly in a few weeks in two weeks um, and I will show you the dates as well and the time remains same but uh, let's see how many we will see today and discover so first of all the main thing innovation of course it's 21st century I mentioned it before just take a look at the slide this is animation but today we have in reality same picture so therefore it the, the dreams have become reality for many people, for the Skyway world, uh, uh, Skyway community, and for the Skyway family. Eyes. Of course, we need to bear in mind that it all takes time, as it has taken time until this day. So we have seen great achievements, but to see even greater achievements and to see how the world will be built, how the sky will be implemented in the well different areas of our world, and then it will be connected with each other. So this would be called transnet, connecting millions of kilometers of track structure above our heads, uh, and uh, and yes, so. That takes time. That's my main point. And therefore, if you are an investor and waiting to receive some benefits and so on, then you just need to focus on uh, on helping the company to achieve its goals and working well inside. And therefore, when when the first real projects or the I mean the commercial projects that which will start produce in income as well then we as investors will be benefited but until then we just need to keep focus keep work on helping the company and uh, and what well, supporting it and then and, and therefore just staying chill but here you can see it. it's just amazing. It has its, as I mentioned before on the previous slide, it was two, but I was talking absolutely another story again. But uh, it has its own motor wheels, it has its own derailment system. So basically, if you put it upside down, then it won't fall off from anywhere. So it's uh, it's like a spider. But then uh, it has its own railhead, the body frame. And there are a bunch of uh, pre-stressed strings, 
and those uh, strings are it works as a bridge as we think about the bridges around the world then it's basically similar to it. that's why we do not need many supports as well to hold the track structure above it because itself it's it's very strong yes but all right so the time has come to say goodbye and yeah this uh, this picture i always like to uh, show to you in the end where the Lai lama also gave his blessings to our projects and said But all right, next webinar in English is taking place on 8th of December uh, at the same time, 6 p.m. GMT plus 2 time zone. So until then, stay strong, stay healthy and see you all soon. Goodbye.